Hi, I'm Dr. Stephanie Salzberg, and this is a Society for Vascular Surgery briefing about non-invasive studies for venous disease. Venous disease is a common problem. The veins return deoxygenated blood to the heart against gravity. This is accomplished with one-way valves within the veins, as well as compression of the veins by the calf muscles. If the valves are not working, the blood flows backwards and pools in the legs. This leads to increased pressure and venous distension, known as venous reflux or insufficiency. This can result in a variety of symptoms, including pain, swelling, bulging veins, throbbing, itching, skin color changes, and ulcers. After a history and physical is performed, non-invasive imaging is used to evaluate for sites of reflux or obstruction. The most common test is venous duplex ultrasound. Venous duplex ultrasound is a non-invasive test that uses high frequency sound waves to create images and evaluate blood flow of the veins. Venous duplex consists of B-mode imaging, which is two-dimensional ultrasound to assess the structure of the vein, and Doppler ultrasound, which evaluates blood flow direction and speed through the vein. This makes venous duplex a versatile imaging tool. Venous duplex can diagnose deep vein blood clots, known as deep venous thrombosis, or DVT, that can travel to the lung, superficial venous thrombophlebitis, or blood clots in superficial veins, and additionally can evaluate for venous stenosis or narrowing and venous reflux to determine the cause of chronic swelling, varicose veins, as well as chronic skin changes and ulcers. The test is usually performed by a specially trained and certified vascular technologist. No preparation is necessary for examinations of the lower extremity or upper extremity veins. For examination of the abdominal and pelvic veins, fasting for eight hours may be required to limit bowel gas. During the procedure, you may lie down or stand. The technologist will apply ultrasound gel to the target area to allow better transmission of sound waves. A probe, known as a transducer, will be placed against the skin overlying the veins with varying degrees of pressure. This is usually painless. Sound waves will bounce off the venous structures and create echoes back to the transducer, which are then converted to electronic signals displayed as images on the screen. The exam usually lasts between 20 and 45 minutes. After the procedure, there are no restrictions. Venous duplex ultrasound is non-invasive, widely available, cost-effective, and relatively painless. The results can be highly accurate when performed by a skilled technologist. There are no known harmful effects. Additional non-invasive imaging may be performed with CT scan or MRI. In particular, these modes are used to evaluate the chest, abdomen, and pelvis for proximal venous occlusions, stenoses, or external compression, which can be difficult to visualize with ultrasound. For example, CT angiography of the chest is routinely used to diagnose blood clots to the lung, known as pulmonary emboli. Venous phase CT, or MR, may also be used to evaluate the upper and lower extremity veins. CT, or computed tomography, uses x-rays to obtain multiple images from different axes, which are then computer processed. The risks associated with CT imaging include exposure to ionizing radiation and injection of intravenous contrast dye, which can cause allergic reaction or nephrotoxicity. MR, or magnetic resonance venography, utilizes a magnetic field and radio waves. There is no risk of ionizing radiation. However, more accurate imaging requires the intravenous injection of gadolinium. This test is also limited in patients with kidney disease and metal implants. Both CT and MR venous imaging are less widely available and more costly than venous duplex ultrasound. At this point in time, accuracy can be very good but is largely dependent on institutional experience with the different modalities. 
over the last several years, non-invasive diagnostic imaging of the venous system with venous duplex ultrasound, CT scan, and MR has become more advanced. Therefore, the need for conventional venography or invasive evaluation of the venous system has been significantly reduced. This has allowed for accurate evaluation of the venous system while limiting the patient's exposure to risks. This briefing is made possible by a grant from Cook Medical. To learn more about vascular health, visit vascularweb.org.